So here's the modulo horror system. Uh, so what the system has currently, uh, you will see some new items. This is the version 0.5. Uh, so far we have the interaction, custom footsteps, triggers, custom lighting, inventory, and AI enemy. And I will break down each of them. So let's start with triggers. Um, so we created a really cool system where when you overlap, you can create events based on kind of anything you want, and you can easily expand on this as well. Uh, so let's say if I overlap, I want to teleport a specific actor, I can do that. Uh, if I want to use an item, so that's like opening doors, opening windows, stuff like that, and you can even uh, expand on it. It's super easy, super modular. Um, and then moving down, uh, we can do show hide, so we can hide show actors, whether it's uh, enemies, just walls, doors, whatever. <clears throat> and then there's collision, so if we do hide them, uh, you can disable collision, but it's not automatically added to that, just because sometimes the use case is different. So I wanted to make sure that was separate. Uh, for sounds, uh, you can play sounds on overlap. There's a delay, so if you walk over it, you can say, hey, five seconds, and then it can play over there. And then you can play at a specific location. Uh, there's widgets, so you can easily, easily add the widgets that you make. I don't believe there's any at the moment um, for triggers specifically. And, and then we go to the player. There's force look. Uh, and what this does is let's say overlap, it will force me to look at a specific thing. Uh, so it could be like a jump scare tactic or just kind of get the player's attention at a specific area or just kind of turn them around, kind of stuff like that. Um, and I don't believe this has been built out yet, the effects, but um, the reason why it's here is because it's, uh, it, eventually I will get to it, I believe, but it's so you can easily add to the system and not have to make um, changes to the structure or the enums, um, just so it's like an easy implementation because it's it's preset there, so you just have to work around um, adding the, the uh, functionality of it. <clears throat> Moving on to interaction, uh, so far you have doors, light switches, frames that rotate based on uh, specific numbers, so if I go in here, this will trigger an event based on the correct number I spin it. Uh, so if I spin it three times, it will trigger the door to open. Uh, this one will just trigger the text to hide. And then you have a radio that you can turn on and off. You have a cell phone that can trigger a ring and then a playback as if you're, you know, hearing someone talk through the phone. You can pick up items. And when you do this, you can also trigger things to happen as well. So it's super modular, super cool that you can um, kind of work things together. Uh, and then this is a new addition to uh, version 0.5, item overlap trigger. So you see that door there. Once we bring it in here, it's still there. But as soon as I drop it, it removes the door. And I, I put that in the event to remove that specific door. Moving over to footsteps. This is just a simple uh, system. It's a dynamic footsteps. Uh, so far, there's four in uh, the project. And it's super easy to add on a new project. You just have to go to the project settings, go to uh, surface and just add those four things. <clears throat> Moving over to lighting. So you have set colors in the blueprints. You can set intensity and you can set the flicker. Now we don't use MCP, I believe it's called, only because the flicker will um, happen at the same time for each. It's kind of like a global rate and you can't really control MCPs, I don't, bl I, I believe at the moment. Um, but it is added in case you wanted to use it. 
Uh, moving over to AI Enemy. Uh, it uses uh, vision, and you can uh, they can actually hear you based on I added some uh, jump noise, and then this guy can actually see me, but he can't reach me. And then moving over to inventory. <clears throat> so there's a couple new things with the uh, 0.5 update, these two items. And it's a pretty simple but modular system where you can pick up items. Uh, and batteries are usable as well as the key. So if my flashlight goes out, I can just use the... Um, battery to add more life to it and then you have a journal now when you pick it up there's not going to be any text to it obviously but but you can have like a default text to it if you want uh, you have a camera which kind of simulates a camcorder and painkillers to give you health and that also has a use as well and that's built into the system. And I can show you um, maybe in another video how that works, but it's super easy to add um, blueprints or effects to the use items. Uh, so with the journal, we added a new trigger for um, journal entries. New journal entry now. Uh, and so that's pretty much it um, visually. There's a lot more to see, like in the code with the blueprints. It's a 100% blueprint, uh, so it's easy to maintain and add to it. But if you don't want to make any changes, I think it's a pretty solid project to kind of jumpstart and even kind of make a mini, mini game, I guess.